सो हे गाइस वेलकम बैक टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल एंड आई एम बैक विद एंडर प्रॉब्लम स्टेटमेंट इन रिएक्ट जावास्क्रिप्ट मशीन कोडिंग सो हियर यू कैन सी वी हैव अ प्रॉब्लम स्टेटमेंट व्हिच इज वी हैव टू बिल्ड अ जॉब बोर्ड दैट डिस्प्ले द लेटेस्ट जॉब पोस्टिंग फेच फ्रॉम अ हैकर न्यूज़ एपीआई विद ईच पोस्टिंग डिस्प्लेइंग द जॉब टाइटल पोस्टर एंड डेट पोस्टेड सो यू कैन सी वी हैव सम इंस्ट्रक्शन गिवन बिलो फर्स्ट वन पेज इज अ लिस्ट ऑफ जॉब पोस्टिंग विद रिस्पेक्ट टू द आईडीज सो लेट्स सपोज इफ आई कॉपी दिस लिंक this is a url endpoint and uh, the method of request of api will be get request and the content type will be json so if i navigate to my chrome browser and if i will hit this api so you will see we have this an array of a job id okay so you can see we have the simple response also and on the below we have the job details so if i hit a particular api with the fetched job id then you can see we have this uh, sample link so if i just copy this part of link here and uh, just paste it on my chrome browser and when i will hit this api uh, you will see we have an object okay which is corresponding to this id okay so we have the two links on the basis of the first link we are getting the particular job id so that is something and uh, here also you can see we have the sample response so we have to build this so if you are new to my channel make sure that you like and subscribe my channel so that you don't miss the awesome videos so let's get started so first of all i will create react arrow console component and export then we need two things first one is a use state for managing the state and second we have the use effect and uh, after that we will import axios from axios now we will create one use state which will be responsible for handling the job ids so final state will be set job ids and initially it will be a blank array after that we will create another use state which will be responsible for updating the jobs or you can say setting the jobs so final state will be set jobs and initially it will be a blank array after that we will create another state which is responsible for showing the loading spinner okay so basically these things enhances the part of ui so we will create one loading state also after that we will create one use effect okay and inside use effect we will just remove these things and we will write initial job id so we will write axios dot get and inside we will copy this the first link which is responsible for getting the list of posting ids so we will pass this link here inside the get request after that we will write then we will write response set job ids to response dot data dot slice we will slice the data okay the incoming data and we will show currently the six data after that if the api response fails then we will print the error with the help of catch so you can use the try and catch method also which is uh, best way to handling the errors basically so depends on you so i'm using dot then here so error fetching job ids okay and after that we will show the error so that is something uh, this is the logic for getting the initial job ids after that we will create one other use effect which will be responsible for getting a job from a particular job id so what i will do i will write fetch job details based on job ids we have so we will write const fetch jobs equals to a async function as well as arrow function of javascript and inside 
first of all we will set the set loading to true after that we will create try and catch method okay and in the error if the api fails so we will show the error so we will write error fetching job details and we will show the error okay and we will create another block which is finally and inside we will reset our set loading to false again okay so inside the try method our main logic we will write const job details is equals to await we will use promise dot all which will be responsible for resolving the all the array of promises so what we will do we will write job ids dot map inside we have this id we will write exios dot get and we will pass this above link we have so this is basically the api endpoint which will be responsible for getting the job details so we will pass this link here and instead of this string id we will replace by template literals of dollar id okay after that we will update the final state which will be set jobs we will get the previous jobs and then we will write const new jobs equals to job details dot map response equals to response dot data after that we will write const unique jobs equals to we will get all the previous jobs we have and same for the new jobs we have dot reduce it will combine the data we will pass item and a job and then we will make one check if item is not equals to then item dot sum existing job existing job dot id triple equals to job dot id and then after that we will push the data item dot push job okay okay and we will create one dependency array and then after that we will return the final which will be unique jobs so that is something uh, this is the logic we have so after that after this function we will call this function fetch jobs and uh, we will pass this job ids we have okay so this is the logic we have created for fetching the jobs and fetching the job ids after that we will modify our gsx part so we will give class name timeline learning then we will create one div and on the first day we will give row and container as a class name on the second day we will give the class name as job board okay so if the data is in loading state so we will write loading if it is loading then with the help of esx feature of javascript which is ternary operator we will show a loading spinner so we will import the color ring from react loader spinner okay so it will accept some attribute 
which will be visible too so i have already created one loaders so i think this one is the the challenge i am seeing search for coloring okay it is in the challenge 30 so I will copy this whole block of code okay and uh, paste it here so you can see we have a basic CSS so I will format the document by right click so visible to height and width area label wrapper style wrapper class and the colors we have so I will give the class name to the div normal css display flex justify content center align items center okay so if the api data get fetched then what we will do we will map our data so we will write jobs dot map job and inside we will create one div we will pass a key uh, which is basically a string attribute we should always include uh, when we are creating array of elements so then we will check if the job has a url so if the job has a url then we will show one anchor tag and inside anchor tag i will create one strong tag and inside we will show job dot title okay and in the anchor we will pass the href as job dot url target will be underscore blank it will open in new window okay so we have this attribute of relation which is for the no opener and no referrer so these are basically for the security purposes particularly when opening links in a new tab or a new window you can say so if the job.url is true then we will show this and if not if there is no url in the response then with the help of a strong tag we will show our job.title okay so at last we will also show the posted date so you can see we have this uh, the time okay so, so we have to convert this time into uh, IST in any standard time so you can see in the response uh, we have this time which is not in the correct format okay it is a type of integer currently uh, so we have to convert that so so we will write posted by dollar job by on dollar so we will write new date and inside we will pass job dot time into thousand dot two local string and we will call this function okay so that is something uh, we have completed our logic so just navigate back to localhost so we will write challenge 48 and you will see uh, we have this data okay so initially when the api is in progress so we will see the loading bar and after that when the api response gets success so we will see the data so you can see we have this data and uh, on the right hand side we have this in a standard time the posted date and the posted time so you can just click on the particular job and you will navigate to that job posted link okay so you can see so that is something we have completed our challenge so what you can do 
uh, you can see we have this total of uh, job IDs so currently uh, what we have done we have fetched only six job ID so try to implement the pagination also in this uh, API response and uh, or what you can do uh, you can also implement one load more status so that on the click of load more button more data will get fetched and uh, the use effect will get refreshed and the new data will get filled again so that is something you can implement that so we have this logic you can use this logic and try to uh, play with this logic we have and try to implement some more functionality as i told you and try to add some more css also you can make it attractive so if you like this video make sure to like and subscribe and uh, if you have any doubt regarding this so let me know in the comment section and till then thank you for watching Thank you.